The fifth generation F-22 Raptor fighter combines stealth, advanced avionics, and high speed. The F-22 is a critical component of the Global Strike Task Force and is designed to quickly establish air supremacy and repel threats. And those are not our words. This is a quote from the official website of Lockheed Martin, the maker of this airplane. The F-22 Raptor is presented as the pinnacle of modern combat aircraft engineering. As something invisible and deadly, which can shoot Russian Su-35 and Chinese Chengdu J-10 from a distance of 150 kilometers like ducks, let's take a close look at this aerial predator to see if it can truly be considered the deadliest fighter jet today. There will be a few little-known facts in this video, so you're advised to watch it till the end. On September 7th, 2024, the F-22 Raptor celebrated its 27th birthday. It's the first ever fifth generation fighter aircraft. The development of the aircraft lasted six years. The project to create this aircraft was launched to replace the obsolete model of the F-15 Eagle fighter. The cost of the F-22 Raptor development program was $66.7 billion. Serial production of the fighter began in 1997 and lasted until 2011. During this time, 187 serial airplanes were produced and taking into account pre-production machines, 195 units. The price of one F-22 Raptor, taking into account the cost of research, development, production, and indirect cost, according to the U.S. General Accounting Office at the end of 2010, reached $411.7 million. What did the military get for such a staggering price tag for a fighter jet? Let's start with the main thing that allowed the Raptor to be called a fifth-generation fighter. It's its radar visibility. Measured in EPR, effective scattering area, the dimension is a square meter. One EPR means that an object reflects the same amount of radio waves as a steel plate with an area of one square meter. In connection with the F-22 Raptor, its EPR is considered to be 0 .0001 square meters, so one square centimeter. Imagine a behemoth weighing almost 20 tons with a length and wingspan of 19 and 13 meters or 62 and 42 feet respectively. And on its radar, it looks smaller than a tie cufflink and a business dress code. A very low observable target indeed. This is achieved first by the active use of new composite materials based on bismillimides, a class of heat-resistant polymers that work at temperatures up to 230 degrees Celsius and that are not visible on radar. There are 40% of them in the airplane by weight. Secondly, the use of a unique radio-absorbing coating. And thirdly, a special design of both the airframe and the nozzles of its engines. The fuselage is assembled from the flattest possible surfaces. The contours of the slots formed at the junctions between the cockpit lantern and the fuselage, the flaps of the landing gear and armament compartments have a sawtooth shape which also provides effective dispersion of the radio beam and prevents its direct reflection in the direction of the receiving antenna of the enemy locator. The nozzles are also flat to reduce visibility in the infrared range. They're made of special ceramic materials that have a high rate of absorption of radio waves, which also reduce the visibility of the vehicle. Moreover, the upper and lower surface of the nozzle is movable to control the thrust vector. This provides the aircraft with super maneuverability. The second outstanding quality of the Predator is its locator. It's called Boring, onboard radar station AN-APG-77 with an active phased antenna array. This station will see the Russian Sushka from a distance of 140 to 160 kilometers or 85 to 100 miles, but the Russian pilot will be able to spot on his radar Predator thanks to its very low EPR at best at a distance of only 40 to 50 kilometers or 25 to 30 miles. Given that the F-22 is armed with missiles with a range of 120 kilometers or 75 miles, it turns out that the Russian plane will be shot down without realizing who destroyed it. This is the main concept of the F-22 Raptor. First look, first kill. The third outstanding quality of the F-22 is its engines. There are two of them on the airplane. These are twin turbojet engines F-119 PW100 by Pratt & Whitney, they provide a maximum speed of 2,410 kilometers an hour or 1,500 miles per hour. This figure is inferior to the Russian Su-35 fighter, 2,778 kilometers an hour or 1,726 miles per hour. 
True, in peacetime, the F-22's top speed is limited to 2,197 kilometers an hour or 1,365 miles per hour. But in any case, the Predator is the fastest generation fighter. Plus, it has a formless top speed of 1,800 kilometers an hour or 1,118 miles per hour, so 1 1.5 times faster than the speed of sound. And so far, it's the only airplane in the world that can fly without afterburner faster than the speed of sound. An absolute achievement. The fighter has unique characteristics of the angle of attack, and the so-called alpha speed can maintain roll control when performing maneuvers such as the Herbst maneuver, which is a steep turn, and Cobra Pugachev, which is when the plane is frozen in a vertical position. What's this invisible, fast, and nimble sky killer armed with? First of all, these are six AIM-120C AMRAAM air-to-air missiles with a range of 120 kilometers and two AIM-9M Sidewinder short-range missiles with a range of up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles. The aircraft can also carry JDAM, GBU-39, and SDB-53B corrective bombs. All these weapons are in internal bays to reduce radio stealth. The fighter is capable of launching missiles and dropping bombs at supersonic speeds. Also on board, there's a 20mm cannon M61A2 Vulcan with which you can produce 480 salvos. As for the survivability of the machine, it was designed to withstand blows to fragmentation fugitive incendiary shells caliber 30mm, which form the basis of the ammunition of aircraft guns of Russian aircraft. The airplane turned out to be unique, so unique that the U.S. Congress passed a federal law in 1999 that prohibits its export to any foreign power. All this despite the interest shown by Japan and Australia who wanted to buy it rather than the cheaper F-35. Israel was also eyeing the Predator but ultimately chose the F-35. Congress even considered selling Israel a batch of F-22s with trimmed functionality, but no agreement was found. So indeed, the F-22 is the pinnacle of fighter aviation, but as we said, its production was stopped in 2011, stopping at the 195 mark, although it was originally planned to build 750 airplanes. Then the contract was reduced to 648 machines, even a little later to 339. In 2004, the order dropped to 277 units and 183 airplanes by 2006. However, in 2008, four airplanes were added to the production run, in the end, 195 aircraft were produced, of which eight were subjected to tests and did not enter service. The last Predator was delivered to the U.S. Air Force on May 2, 2012. Why did this happen? Well, let's add a few black strokes to the picture of this magnificent air fighter. The first and most important is its very high cost. No, not of production, but of operation. If the airplane were produced further, its cost would, on the contrary, fall. But the cost of operation, unfortunately, is not. An hour of flight time of the F-22 Raptor cost the American Treasury $68,000. For comparison, the F-15C costs $42,000 per hour to operate. It's $10,000 less for the F-15E Strike Eagle. Using the F-16C Fighting Falcon fighter jet costs $22,500. The most expensive version of another American fifth-generation fighter, the F-35B, costs $44,100, while the cheapest, the F-35A, costs $28,900. Adding to the costliness of operation is the complexity of maintenance, mainly because of the need to maintain the radio-absorbing coating. Although the disadvantages of the aircraft can be attributed to a small combat radius of action, only 760 kilometers and low functionality. The aircraft has on board for the defeat of ground targets only corrective bombs, but not all tasks can be solved by them. For example, they're powerless against a moving target. What's the fate of this outstanding airplane? Fortunately, the Pentagon is not going to give up on it. Still, its unique qualities cannot go anywhere and cannot just write it off. Therefore, it's decided to improve the Predator. In November 2021, it became known that the U.S. Air Force signed a contract with Lockheed Martin for $10.9 billion for the F-22 modernization program. The work will be carried out in Fort Worth, Texas. At the same time, in the contract, the implementation period of the modernization is already 10 years, until October 31, 2031. These works will allow extending the life of the F-22 until the middle of this century or even up to the 60s when they'll finally be replaced by the 6th generation aircraft. 
Now about the modernization itself. Although details about it, for obvious reasons, are not disclosed, it's only said that the onboard equipment and software will be updated. There will be an improved radar station and delivered optical location station integrated with a helmet-mounted site. New communications equipment will improve the controllability of F-22 units. The old stealth coating will be replaced by a new one borrowed from the F-35. More advanced air-to-air -air missiles will be included. Now let's decipher this. Despite its perfection, the Predator is no infrared search and tracking sensors. Why is this such a big deal? Because the F-22 has radar, which as we said, will see the Su-35 at a distance of 140 to 160 kilometers, while remaining invisible to the Russian pilot. It's not that simple. The F-22 itself will indeed be invisible to the Russian Sukhoi's locator, but it'll give itself away by working radar. Infrared sensors work in passive mode so they don't emit anything and therefore do not demask the aircraft. When designing the F-22, designers understood this perfectly well and put in the design of these sensors. But then politics intervened. The airplane was already outrageously expensive. The same weight piece of pure gold was cheaper. So officials insisted that this system on the F-22 is not installed. Also, the Predator will receive missiles class air-to-surface, for example, with AGM-158 JASM, the development of the same Lockheed Martin which is armed with F-35. Also outdated air-to-air -air missiles, AIM-9M and AIM-120C, will be replaced by the newer AIM-9X and AIM-120D. F-22 pilots will get helmets like F-35 pilots with JHMCS technology. This technology allows the pilot to receive the necessary information about ground and air targets and issue targeting commands to air-to-air -to -air missiles when turning his head in the direction of the target and the line of sight without using the agencies of manual control and without changing the direction of flight of the fighter. Well, replacing the old stealth coating with the one used by the F-35 is understandable. The Lightning was developed almost two decades later, so its coating is better. As a result, America will get an even more formidable Predator, which will be able to hold the palm of the U.S. air superiority and pass the reliably protected sky to the sixth-generation fighters, which are being developed under the NGAD and FAXX program. In conclusion, we can only wish this aircraft success in its difficult craft, to defend the interests of the United States and its allies anywhere on the planet. And the time, judging by the events taking place in the world, will be formidable. What do you think about the F-22 Raptor and its participation in the upcoming military conflicts? Write about it in your comments below. Please also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell not to miss new videos about modern weaponry. We hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again soon.